Hello everyone. Today we're reading Little Witch Learns to Read by Deborah Hotsick. Little Witch Learns to Read. Little Witch loved school. She loved making art projects. She loved science. She loved to feed the gerbil, Mr. Coffee. Most of all, she loved learning to read. Her teacher's name was Miss Brooks. Little Witch worked hard. She learned to sound out new words. Some words were called sight words, like night and friend. These are words you have to remember just by looking at them, said Miss Brooks. And slowly, Little Witch did. Sight words. Night, friend, toad, right, caught, tough. Read a book every night with your mommy or daddy, Miss Brooks told the class. They can read to you, and soon you will be able to read to them. Miss Brooks took the class to the school library every week. You may borrow any book for a week. When you return it, you may borrow another one. That night, Little Witch asked Mother Witch to read to her. No, screamed Mother Witch. Bedtime stories are for children, not witches. Get rid of that book. Next, Little Witch asked Cousin Dippy to read to her. Cousin Dippy was happy to do it, but she mixed up all the words. Came, Tulip Lovely Thumb Girl, read Cousin Dippy. That book is upside down. Little Witch sighed. Ah, never mind, Cousin Dippy. Little Witch asked Aunt Nasty to read to her. Once upon a time, I gave rotten fish to a cat. He threw up on my head, said Aunt Nasty. Ew, said Little Witch. That is not what the book says. That is about you. Aunt Nasty and Aunt Grouchy giggled wickedly. <laughs> I cannot wait until I can read all by myself, Little Witch told her cat, Bow Wow. She tried to read by herself. She read some of the words, but not all of them. Well, some is better than none, she said to her bat, Scrubby. Then she put away her book and went to sleep. The next morning, Mother Witch warned Little Witch, Remember, no nice books allowed in this house. Little Witch went to the library. She had an idea. I will borrow a book and hide it with a magic spell. Mother Witch will never know. Little Witch checked out The Little Mermaid and put it in her backpack. As soon as she got home, Little Witch ran to her room and said a magic spell. Lingo, bingo, wordy, itch. Hide yourself from Mother Witch. Poof! The book disappeared. Little Witch peeked under her bed, and there it was. She'll never find it here. Mother Witch never cleans my room. Later that night, all the witches were in bed. Little Witch turned on her flashlight. She snuggled up with her book and tried to read. Soon it was midnight. Bow Wow was fast asleep. Scrubby was wide awake, but Little Witch could not keep her eyes open one second longer. The next morning, Little Witch overslept. Wake up, screamed Mother Witch. Why are you still sleeping? Mother Witch stamped her foot. Little Witch was sleepy all day. She fell asleep at her desk, in the lunchroom, and even playing hopscotch. Miss Brooks was worried. Little Witch began staying up late every night reading, but she was getting more and more sleepy every day. Little Witch tried a magic spell. Jumpity lumpity, coffee shake, help me please to stay awake. The spell did not work. She even fell asleep at dinner. Mother Witch was worried. The witches had a meeting while Little Witch was at school. Little Witch is so sleepy, said Mother Witch. We have to find out why. They looked for clues. They searched the yard. They searched the whole house.
<coughs> At last they came to Little Witch's room. Mother Witch looked under the bed. Aha! She screeched and pulled out a book. White snow, read Cousin Dippy. I thought all snow was white. That's backwards, said Mother Witch. It's called Snow White. They read the first page. Then they read the last page. And they lived hev happily ever after? Ah! screamed Mother Witch. What is this nice book doing in our house? When Little Witch came home, all the witches were waiting. Mother Witch waved the book in her face. Why was this book under your bed? she screamed. Little Witch hung her head. I learned to read at school, she said. I love hearing stories, but no one will read them to me. So I read them to myself. But this book is terrible, wailed Mother Witch. It's all about lovely princesses who live happily ever after. But Mother Witch, didn't you read about the poison apple and the evil queen and the ugly old witch? Ooh, gasped Aunt Nasty and, Uncle, and Aunt Grouchy. Evil witches? Poison? Yum. Really? asked Mother Witch. Really? said Little Witch. That night, everyone sat together in the family room. Little Witch read aloud, and the evil queen said, Take Snow White into the forest and kill her, read Little Witch. The witches rubbed their bony hands together and giggled. Keep reading, said Aunt Grouchy. Then Little Witch read the part about the prince, but Aunt Grouchy and Aunt Nasty were fast asleep. What's a prince? asked Cousin Dippy. There are none, said Mother Witch. Be quiet and let Little Witch finish. And Little Witch did. Mother Witch put Little Witch to bed. That book has a very stupid ending. Nobody lives happily ever after. But the middle parts were good. Do you think I am a good reader? asked Little Witch. Yes, said Mother Witch. You are good at reading. You are good at everything, except being bad. The next morning, Little Witch woke up early. She wasn't sleepy at all. She put Snow White in her backpack. Bring home another book, said Mother Witch, but only if it is wicked. It's a deal, said Little Witch with a wink. Mother Witch gave Little Witch a big hug. Then Little Witch flew off to school. Okay, and that was Little Witch Learns to Read. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you next time. Bye!